Come on, put those hands together for Jesus. Come on. Best effort, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, for the glory of God. And then allow us to meet people who are on the prayer list we have never met before. Some of you all have people on the prayer list. We don't know them, and that's cool, but it would be nice to meet them. Okay? Uh, God give us grace to, um, um, to meet them. We, you know, we know how to meet them. If you have your Bible, turn with me again to Job, the first chapter. I've had people before uncomfortable with us meeting family members because they were not saved. Okay. And I had to let them know that we were not always saved. Yeah, okay. And that we know how to meet them. Right. You understand? Yes. That, you know, we, we, we were not always saved. Some of you all have, you know, you, you have relationship with people who just like the people who raised us or who are family members or who we grew up around. We know how to handle them. You understand? Yes. You know, and, and, and in a way you may not think. You know, I, I don't have a problem with someone stepping outside to get themselves together or take a sip or smoke and come back in. I don't have a problem with that, so you'll know. Because I didn't fall from heaven. I don't do it, but I don't have a problem with someone if that that's how they calm themselves or regulate or ground themselves. And you know, I don't have a problem with that. Um, I've been around quiet drunks and ignorant, loud drunks. Mm -hmm. And I've been around quiet smokers and loud smokers. You know the difference right away. You understand? But God gave us an anointing and grace on how to deal with that, so you'll know. So we're not uncomfortable with that, okay? You understand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so bring them out and uh, put forth a you know, good effort. In Job, the first chapter, and uh, look at the one that says, I still believe God. I still believe God. Yeah, I still believe God. I, I really do. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job. We'll leave here when we're supposed to leave here. So I see we're still here, right? Mm. Thank God for Jesus. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God yes. and eschewed evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He shunned it. Yeah. Yeah. And he made a choice to shun it. And there was born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was 7,000 sheep 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen, 500 sheep asses in a very great household, mm -hmm. so that this was, this man was the greatest of all men of the east. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned. Right. Mm -hmm. right. We'll look at that another time. But it may be that my sons have sinned. Yeah. You see? Yeah. And curse God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. And there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, When comest thou? Whence cometh thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and is sure of evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Do Job fear God for not? Has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house? And about all that he hath on every side, that thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. 
Only upon himself could not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. You ain't got to tell him twice. And there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the elder's brother house. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them and the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the ears of the sword. And I only am escaped along to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is fallen from heaven and have burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I only am escaped along to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the ears of the sword. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in the elder's brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house. And it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I am only escaped alone to tell thee. Then then Job arose, rent his mantle, shaved his head, and fell down upon the earth and the ground and worship and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And in all this Job sin not, nor charge God foolishly. Look at the one next to say, friend. The importance, the importance of the remnant. Of the remnant. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah. The importance of the remnant. And, you know, we kind of, we're not careful. We get back into this, what my pastor called a rut. Mm -hmm. Well, where human, humanity always want to make it church as usual. They always, they always want to make things normal. Yeah. If I could say that to you. Um, they always get into a rut. It's hard. It's not as easy as people think to be faithful with energy for 365 days. It's not as easy as it sounds. I know when we take vows and, you know, and, and make oaths and things of this nature that we're saying we can do it. Yes. You know, so you know. But then you do find out that there are some bumps in it. Or some, there are people who just get bored really easy. Yeah. And as soon as her baby can walk, she want another one. And as soon as that one can walk, she want another one. And if you say why, she want to, she, yeah. she's bored. She wants something to need her. Or she like how it feels to be needed. You know, where her grown-ups don't need her like that. And now the, the, the baby no longer needs her like that. You know, uh, she says things like don't grow up so fast or always stay mama's baby. You know, they, they do that kind of stuff. Uh, it's hard to have an energy and a zeal, which is what you need, you know, yeah. to do things and be faithful to it for 365 days without taking it for granted mm -hmm. or, um, or deciding that I need something different to change or something to happen. Yeah, um, you, you know, it's, it's hard being with people who like everything the same every day. Yeah. Like, like, like for me, don't change anything. Yeah. Or don't touch, that's his shelf. You know, you don't have to touch that. Or don't, don't wash that. Yeah. Don't, you know. Or oh, no, that's his clothes. Or he don't want you to touch, like nothing. You, 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 know, I, I, you know, because I found out that my hands do things the way I like. Okay. And I don't like putting a burden on other people yeah to do things the way I like. Okay. And when they don't, they have a problem with them when I, when I could have done it with my own two hands. 
You know, so everyone is different. Right. You know, but it's hard for people to to know that this is the life I've chosen. Now let me do this faithfully. Yeah. Okay. And then when I cannot do it like I want to, well, I think it's because I'm not doing it the way God wants me to. Mm. So then I need him or his energy and his fervor, maybe his power. I don't know to give me what I need. You understand? Now, in the process of us wanting things and needing things, very seldom do people ask for certain things. And so you can read the whole book of Job and never refer back to these four who are the remnant here who have to bring this hard word. Now, you can read printed page all day long and never fully grasp the, the consequences of it or, or how one felt. Like, people think delivering certain word is easy, but it's not. It's hard. It's not easy. Even I've seen policemen cry and tell another mother her son is cute. I heard one say the hardest part of my job by far is knocking on a parent's door. By far. He said, I'll never get used to it. It's not easy for him to say, we found your daughter. We, 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 we did find your son. You know. He is always hard. Where for someone, it becomes, you know, it's part of the job, you know. And, and you can feel it that way when they talk to you. You know, when lead the heart, go to the heart. When lead the head, go to the head. Right. Sorry to tell you, they, uh, they found your son. Uh, it is. No, it's wrong. You know, like, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's not as easy as people think for these four to show up by themselves with their testimony, and I am the only one left. Yeah. Like, now, the one don't know the second one coming. The second don't know the third one coming. Right. And the third don't know the fourth one coming. And so, and, they, and for all I know, they pass each other on their way in. And I don't know what you just told him. Right. All I know is I'm the only one left. Right. But they're not the only one left. It's actually four of them who have to deliver this, this hard work. And so they are, they are the, this is the remnant that you can read it over and over and never think about some look at what you say. Somebody got to do it. Look, look, say someone called to do it. The remnant is a group of loyal people to God after a time of hardship. A loyal people called into the secret place. Someone has to do it. This remnant is this loyal people that someone have to say whoa. Someone have to say, thus said the Lord. Someone have to declare this is a sin. Someone have to walk up and say, God is not pleased. Someone have to walk up and say, you know, like someone got to say that. That God is not in agreement with this. Someone can't be so bound by job and social media and status and wanting to be liked. And, you know, someone got to be free. To tell the truth. Amen. Isaiah 1, 9, 1 through 1 and 9. Isaiah said the nation had become a sinful nature, nation. A people laden with iniquity. So they're not just full of sin. They also don't repent of it. Sin is anything out the will of God. Iniquity is covering it up. person looked at me like they didn't understand. I said sin is a, some female getting pregnant out of wedlock. Iniquity is abortion. I'm going to cover it up. He looks here and says, they full of sin and iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backward. Verse 9, except the Lord of the host had left unto us a small remnant. We should have been like unto Gomorrah. Except the Lord had taken out of everything uh, his own little room, remnant. Yes. He says everyone would have been destroyed like Gomorrah. Yes. 
God preserved him a remnant. He preserved himself a remnant. These are not four by, by accident who happened to duck and dodge things. Oh, it almost got me. No, no. It wasn't going to get him. The wind, the Sabians, whatever was happening, it wasn't going to touch these four because God had put a seal on these four. That I want someone left to deliver the news. It ain't going to touch you. Because I called you to say something no one wants to say. And to do something no one wants to do. They all want the privileges of salvation. They all want the privileges of not going to hell. They all want the privileges of going to heaven. But none of them want to. I very seldom that someone want to walk up and ask me for the guilt of the remnant. They all want to be seen and prophesy and sing and dance and preach. None of them walk up and say, give me the, the anointing of the remnant. The, give me the, what you gave those for. Right. He said, they don't come ask me that. Romans 11 and 5, even so then, at the present time, at this present time, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. There is a remnant according or chosen by God by grace. That in this present time, that God still have a remnant. He still have people who are willing to say a hard word or willing to do a hard thing without any fame pass on the back, without any any like notoriety, like yes, yes. They don't take an offering. You know, they don't get they don't get blessed by man. They they're not liked. They don't want to see them coming. These are they which have turned the world upside down. Them have now come unto us. They just say that like liking it. They like oh my God here they come. Oh these are they who have turned the world upside down. They come unto us. They don't want to see us coming. So you know. He looks here at a people and says, even today, I have a remedy. I have people who will do what no one else want to do. And I've never not had people who will do what I say do and, 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 who, and who don't care about this. He looks and says that even today, I have a remedy. I have a people who are so loyal to me and love me that have meet me in a secret place that are say what no one else want to say. That are say the, the, the unpopular thing of the day. Mm -hmm. That are not bound by do you like me? Will you be my friend? Right. Uh, like, right. you know, yeah. Yeah. They, they can sit somewhere and if I speak to them now, remember he's a God of order. Right. Right. He's an orderly God. Right. So he don't have me punch in, sit down and render under Caesar where the Caesar, then stand up. Yeah, no, 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 no. I've never done that. Not, not one day of my life. Because he sent me, he got me there for a purpose. Right, right. But he had these carved out places yes. for 10 years that hey remnant, come say something. Mm -hmm. Hey remnant, come speak something. Yeah. And he would never be without one. We call people names like prophet and pastor and apostle and teacher and evangelist. But many of them, they started off as just part of the remnant. And so when you look at the remnant, Queen Esther, the beautiful orphan, who was willing to do what no one else would do or could do in their brains, as Mordecai compelled her that maybe God had placed you queen for such a time as this. Mm. Not to keep silent, but to save a whole Jewish people who get ready to be exterminated. Yes, yes. I can't, I have to think about this. You can die going before the king without permission if he don't put forth his scepter. Mm. But maybe God have raised you up for such a time as this. Maybe you are the remnant. She says, well, let's get some clarity. I want you and everything with you to fast three days. And me and everything with me going to fast three days. And let's see what the Lord is saying. Yeah. And then she declared as the remnant must do. If I die, let me die. But I now go to see the king. Lord Jesus, yes, God. Wow. 
I have to do what I'm called to do in as the, not as queen, as remnant. This is who I am. I'm the remnant. The remnant Abraham's servant who he looks at his servant and says, you will never be glorified. You will never be praised. Many won't speak of you, but you are a wonderful servant. Go find my son a wife among our people. Don't bring back anyone not part of who are our people. And the no name or the nameless servant go out praying and worshiping the remnant. Simply to do what his master have asked them to do. And he kept referring back to my master, my master, my master. He looks and says, I have the remnant here from God. If any, the woman who walks out here and draws water and who looks at me and I say, can I have some of that water? And she say, yes. And the very one say, now let me water your camels. The woman who does that, that's the woman I'm looking for. Then he sees this beautiful woman named Rebecca who steps out there and does exactly like he says, but then he worships God of God again. Yeah. Savior. He says, this is the reason I'm here. He tells her, he tells Laban, he tells her mother, this is why I'm here. He says, like, I must leave, but I cannot leave without her. They said, leave her for about 10 days. He said, I can't return back to my master without her. I, they, look, I can't do it. They call her and said, you want to go with him? She said, I want to go. Let me go. She sees the man of God, Isaac, the father, said, who is that? That's who we brought you from. She leaps off her horse, a camel. She runs to him. They look at each other. Isaac said, who is this? It's the fulfillment of what I promised my master. But someone had to do it. The remnant Jeremiah, who prophesied the Lord's word in the face of persecution difficulties that he encountered as, as described by the book of Jeremiah and Lamentations have prompted scholars down through the years to refer to him as the weeping prophet. Look at the one that you said, somebody got to do it. Somebody got to weep. Somebody got to do it. The remnant Isaiah, a prophet asked to lead a life of prosperity and influence to preach repentance to a people who refuse to repent. Isaiah 6 and 8, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said, I hear him, I send me. Look at the one that you say, somebody got to say it. Somebody got to answer the call. Somebody got to do it. The remnant Ezekiel, a prophet who was paralyzed, bound and dumb, who laid on his side 390 days because of the guilt of the house of Israel, who, who prayed, who preached to a Jewish exile people in Babylon, who was also given symbolic action, strange visions, and even put in trances as he stated, I fell upon my face. But God was with him who declared unto the prophet, I will make your forehead like the hardest of stones, harder than flint. Do not be afraid of them or terrified by them, though so they are as a rebellious people, but I shall make your forehead harder than their forehead. Look at the one that you say, somebody got to go. He looks at him and says, you're going to run into the same thing I'm running into. But I'm with you. And I'm going to make your forehead harder than theirs. Their head is hard. He said, but you're the remnant. Before you're the prophet, you're my called out. You're my loyal remnant. And I'm going to make your forehead harder than their forehead. And you shall not be moved, for they are a rebellious nation. The remnant Daniel, who interprets dreams, or he who interprets dreams who lived in captivity with his friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who stood up for God when pressured to conform to the society around him, who God blessed to be ten times wiser than all the king's wise men. Daniel, when placed in the lion's den, heard the king in anguish ask, O oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou serve continually able to deliver thee from the lions? 
Daniel answered, O king, live forever. Might God have sent his angel and have shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. The king then declared that Daniel's God, the living God, to have dominion throughout the kingdom, saying, He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lion. Look at the one that you say, somebody got to be in there. Somebody that God called got to be in the lion's den. Somebody got to feel like they in there. Like at any moment, things can just consume me. Somebody got to do it. Because somebody got to be positioned that God may show himself strong on their behalf. To cause a whole nation to take notice of what God can do. Somebody got to do it. No one wants to do it. But somebody got to do it. No one says, Lord, please, somewhere today, put me in the lion's den. Please, somewhere today. Please, God, somewhere today, put me in the line. No one asks, and I don't blame them. But someone got to be in a position that God can show himself strong on their behalf. Needless to say, of Moses and Samuel and Elijah, somebody got to do it. Somebody got to be, somebody. Somebody got to be that one of those four who I, only I am left to be honest, to tell the truth. He says in Jeremiah 14, 14, he said, Jeremiah, the prophet prophesied lies to my people. He says, I didn't ordain them. I didn't anoint them. I didn't smear them. I didn't send them. He said, and all they're doing is causing witchcraft and mind control and seduction and, and seducing spirits. He said, but I didn't send them. And somebody got to stand up to them. Somebody got to stand up against what's going on today and the lies from the pulpit and the foolishness. That's, somebody got to do it. Got to say the truth about the times we live in. Somebody got to be as the tribe of Issachar. Out of those mighty 89,000 men who stood up, who knew what to do, when to do it, how to do. Somebody got to be as Gideon's mighty 300 who were men of war, who don't matter how small the numbers get, God will still give us victory. Somebody got to answer the call. Somebody got to want to do it. Somebody got to be as Job in the midst of things perfect and upright and at no time charge God foolishly. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to be in a hard place. While people are watching, now that's the key. While people are looking, let's see how he going to act now. Let's see what he going to preach now. Let's see how he going to pray now. I mean, I know he said he believed God. I know he said he could be man of faith. I know he said he loved the Lord. But let's see how he going to act after that hard experience. After that devil, after that person, after that situation, let's see what, and somebody got to gotta step in and say, keep on watching. And watch and see if I don't stay upright and perfect and not charge God foolishly. Somebody got to do it. No one want to do it. No one, no, no one to do it. No one want to see your ways with hard marriage and wife want to leave and your bills and sickness and in and out hospitals and son dying, job giving me problems and daddy, daddy spirit following me. No one wants this. No one says, I, 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 here I am. Yeah. My God today. There are things that God showed you from beginning to end when you were encountered. There are things that make you say, well, that's uh Deliverance ministry, when I was coming up, it was flooded with people talking about demons and casting out devils. You saw the numbers get smaller and smaller as people decided there's some easier things out here than this. Now, there's some more things out here that easier than this. I'm going to start preaching prosperity. I'm broke. I'm going to start preaching big cars and houses and cars and hats. You know, get rid of some of these devils. And now that he on his third marriage, or she done filed for divorce twice, the remnant 
who started off in deliverance because God put us there, still in deliverance because God put us there. And he won't let us be moved. Somebody got to want to be perfect and upright. Somebody got to want the testimony of Jesus and he that sent me is with me. The Father have not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. Somebody got to be jealous for the Lord our God to, to read that and not want that. To read that, that, that he that sent me is with me. And he's not leaving me. Times are hard. Times are happy. Sometimes hungry. Sometimes full. I mean, born into a an age where where, 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 where where foxes knew where to sleep, and you know, and animals had a resting place. But for the Son of Man, no resting place. Like shipped off to Egypt and brought back and running for my life and hated and despised of men, rejected of me. But but look, but no matter what, the Father is always with me. He that sent me, he with me. I got a hard word for some. I got to do something. But he that sent me is with me. And he's not going anywhere. And I tell you another thing, for I do always the things that please him. That's my desire. Not that please me. That pleases him. So then you find out that the remnant sometimes do things that don't please them, but they please the Father. Like you think it pleased John to look and say it's not right to have your brother's wife knowing I could be killed for this. To preach one message his whole life, not be all over the place. Just one message. Prepare you the way of the Lord. Prepare. Just he only preached one message. But then he rose up one day and said, hey, it's not right to have your brother's wife. And you're wrong. You know, and had to say it. <laughs> but somebody had to say it. Knowing, knowing that this may become what it ended up becoming uh, of this woman asking for his head. Oh. I can't stand that man. He made me uncomfortable now. I want the head of John the Baptist. Oh. Whatever you want. Ask me what. Really? Okay, give me the head of John the Baptist. Well, I don't think that's what you're asking. Well, that's what I want. I want his head. I hate him for what he, how he embarrassed us. I hate him what he did openly to us. I hate him. And then so much, I'm sorry it won't suffice. I want blood. Mm. He didn't, see, 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 the Bible will teach you everything you need to know. What can we do for you to make up for the sins of Saul? That's what David asked. What can we, they said, we don't want your, I'm sorry. We don't want your money. We don't want your land. We want seven of his sons. For what? To hang them. We want blood for this. We want a lie for this. This is, we don't want your sorries or how you feel. Just let us hang his son. Yes. We want blood. And the remnant, sometimes put yourself in position. How unfair is it to be on a platform where people can say what their God is saying, but if you say it, you can be terminated. How unfair is that? Yeah. And the enemy changed times and laws right in front of our face. Yeah. How unfair is it to not want your, your, your tampons in your son's washroom? And, and if you say it, you can have a problem. Right. How unfair is it to want your daughter to one day be a wife and a mother and make you a grandparent? And if you say it, you're demonizing her. How unfair is that to look at a child who keeps sneaking in the refrigerator and now obese and you are saying that's your unhealthy and we're going to get you in shape and now you fat shame as if they're going to be there in the diabetes and pre-diabetes and doctor business yep. yes. Yes. Yeah. how unfair is it as they try to silence the remedy how unfair is it that not, for, for you to not and then within your own people to do something. Now, I know I heard Dr. King say he had a dream. And in a dream, little black kids playing with little white kids, little white, little black boys playing with little white boys, and little white girls playing with little black, white, you know, 
Now, now he didn't have a dream of little boys in dresses playing with little boys in dresses. He saw what he saw. I had a dream that one day this ain't what he saw. He didn't see a people being muzzled. He didn't see we're going to fight for you to have a right to sit at the table and be able to vote and be part of education. And then have a people come up and say, if you get too smart, you no longer black like us. And if you vote that way, you're no longer black like us. So now your own people going to muzzle you. They did that already. God raised up Remy. He keep the, he keep those four in his pocket. Who who, who says I feel like I own? I'm the, see, it's about feel. So now I feel like I'm the only one left, Lord, who love you, who not trying to take get a buck out of this and a dollar, who will tell the gospel truth, and who don't care about how people feel, who who not looking for a preaching engagements and prayer references and prophetic conferences and tea. How is that working for you? Yes. Who don't care about having a bunch of Lexuses and Rolls Royces and, and Mercedes in the parking lot? Come as you are. Let's have church. Who not looking at people and say, God can use you broke, as one pastor said. He can use me more than broke. He used me broke. He used me broke. It was being faithful when I was broke. It's the reason he gave me the promotion. Amen. Come on. He looked at me and said, when you were small in your own eyes, I know that you. Yes. When you ain't had nothing, remember when you had nothing. That's right. A hole in your shoe. Yes. You came to, you had a hole in your shoe. Oh my God. I said, I had a hole. You had a hole in your shoe. When pants that has patches on both sides and between your thighs. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, Lord. You from the Leclerc Court Projects. Right. Yes, Lord. Let me tell you who you are, where yes, you come from. Right. Yes. Thank you, Savior. And I walk past you polluted in your own blood. And I said, live. I command you to live. Yes, and I raise you up. Thank and I wash you down. You, and I salted you. you. And I hid your thank nakedness. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They won't even know what all I did for you unless you tell them. And I said, but I can tell it. He said, then tell it. You said, because the only thing the devil holds over your head is what you're ashamed of. And I start saying, I'm tired of being ashamed of things and guilt stricken, and I'm just going to tell it. This is what the Lord did for me. This is what the Lord did for me. And somebody got to do it. Somebody got to be willing to stand at the family reunion and say, God is displeased with all this drinking and half naked people and all this cursing. God has been too good for us. Somebody got to do it. Come on. Big mama dead now. Who next? Yes. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to say enough is enough. Yes. Oh, these babies out of wedlock. Oh, don't hurt her feelings. Her feelings. I'm trying to keep out of hell. You can work with her feelings later. Look, God got her feelings. Hey, don't bring another baby up in here. Without a husband. Have you lost your mind? Who the heck want three and four babies, no offense, working at Walgreens with no husband and no help? And all you got is like something that said you graduated from eighth grade and did two years of high school. You got and then left. But somebody got to do it. I watched multiple men come in the car place and leave. Come in the car place and leave. And I'm sitting there with my wife right next to me for eight hours, like a job, to try to find something for me to drive. And I said, Lord, I'm not embarrassed. I'm mad at myself. I said, and I, I can't get myself together. You need to help me. I need, I need, I, need, I can't do that. I got With a minister's license. They got a license. I can't do this. I can't watch men come in and just on their name walk out the door. And I've been here eight hours with them trying to find someone that'll deal with me. 
And I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I keep my, I said it to my own self. I don't need you to, I book myself. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to be honest. Come on. She ain't a big liar. All she is a big liar. Okay, you know, so I agree with you. I really do. I agree with you on one hand, she's a big liar. I disagree with you on the other hand as to why she lying. Somebody got to tell you. She only lying to you because your feelings get hurt. Because you can't take the truth, brother. Mm. She's not lying to you because she's a big liar. I agree with you. She lied too much. But I disagree on to why she lying. She's not lying because she's a big liar. She lying because no one has told you that when your wife tells you the truth, you act like a spoiled baby and can't take the truth. So that's why she lied. And I have a problem with you lying to him because a, 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 a lie of the Lord hate. Yeah, right. Let the Lord deal with his feelings tell him the truth yes. now. Since he don't, since he don't want a big lie in the house. Yes. Yeah. Somebody got to say it. Somebody got to do it. So here you are again. Going to leave God in the sun. Go out there and have all the sex you want. And I'm going to see you again about to, before it get cold, right? Somebody got to say it. Don't move that seat. He'll be back. She'll be back after they leave for the summer. Go out there and get some more scars and some more pain and another abortion. You know, another hurt feeling. Name on the wall for a good time. You know, go, you know. They'll be back when it get cold. When the flowers look dead and the grass covered with snow. They'll come back. Somebody got to tell you. Somebody got to do it. Not be scared you're going to leave and take your, take your, whoever, whatever you take with you. Somebody got to do it. Got to say, why do you smell like this? I'm the real man. Why do you smell like this? Why aren't you fresh? Christians are fresh. Especially born again believers. We fresh. I mean from the fattest to the skinniest. You don't smell with us. Now you smell. Now you smell folk. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you smell. Oh, now you smell. See, the same God who's going to put you in heaven is the one to take and brush your teeth. Your, your teeth. You know, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds okay. Your tongue, the, the roof of your mouth, flaws, like the same God who tell you to wash your hair and sour. Same God who said, lift up this and get up under there. You know what size you're about. The same God. Says the night air dry. Don't just lay there. Let the air, you know, like you a piece of clothes outside on the clothes. Air dry. Don't come up with nothing. Now you got a right to date me, got lady. Now I'm giving you permission to do it. So we hear you out. Somebody got to tell you that your house too nasty and your kids dirty and your son acting a fool. And your daughter got a potty now. Somebody got to do it. And not be afraid of who's going to get mad. Somebody got to tell you. That ain't no way to ride you to hold me over fingernails that dirty. Somebody got to say it. If you don't start covering up your sneezes and stop making everybody here sick. You heard me. I don't care if you cover up your sneezes. Somebody got to tell you. Since you put it all in the atmosphere. Ah, Somebody got to walk in and say, quit another job, and you're going to be on your own. Yes. You know darn well you can't be quitting jobs. Yes. How dare you? You got bills in a family, and you're about leaving. Okay. Some wives, they can't stand the other day. I want to talk to you something. Because she knows about quitting a job. Oh, hey, here you go. And white man, white man, nothing. You live the jewels. Walmart, Walgreens, <laughs> condo, tuition. We put that in front of the white man. Put that on top of how you feel. Yeah. Come back here. Let your husband come on down. Come on. Real good. Somebody got to say it. Yes. You say, is this the remedy? Yeah, this is the remedy. Somebody got to say, I love you, but if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to die and go to hell. Mm. Somebody got to say it. No one wants to say, I only, I am left. Okay. 
to say to you, that God got better for you. Somebody got to tell you. He did not birth you off of this. You're a loser. Do you want to be a loser? You're a loser. We don't lose. We may struggle, but we don't lose. We may have hard times, but we don't quit and we don't lose. Prove it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all day long. I'll show you. I got, come, let's go have a talk. I'll show you. Quitting moments that I that I said, but well, I won't quit on Jesus. And not quitting on Jesus, but I couldn't quit on all these people. Like, I got to get up. I can't get pinned. I can't lay on my back and get pinned. And I'm not some soft brother on his stomach with somebody pumping on his butt. I got to get up. I don't know what he doing. But I got to get up. My thumbs are holding this Bible and holding the microphone. My, my thumbs ain't going to put back there for somebody who that's his fetish. My, this, my thumbs, I hold stuff with my thumbs. I make a fist with my thumbs. This is what my thumb is for. Somebody got to say it. While you're running from church to church, trying to find something for itching ears, how's that working for you, YouTube? Right. Facebook, how's that working for you? Running all around looking for somebody to, that somebody to stroke your ego or say something nice about you and lie again that they going to be the greatest or something. And you sit there with a bag full of medicine and about to fall off. He think you're falling out because under the anointing, but you fall out because your sugar crazy and your blood pressure you have. You've been numb on one side all day. That way you're falling out. But they won't tell you. They rather lie and not tell you the truth that somebody got to say it. That either you with us or you against us. Mm -hmm. For if you be with us, then be with us. Mm -hmm. But if you against us, then be against us. Let's stop all this lukewarm. It's if you're with us, be with us. So we can know who did, you know. But if you're not with us, make your calling and election sure. Say it. Stop wanting a, a, a pat on the back for your due diligence for doing your duty. I go home, I go to work, I do the fear, I do the Yeah, that's what a husband do, right? I'll let you know when you say something special. <laughs> I'll say something special. Okay, what else? What else? Okay. I mean, good my wife. Okay. How many times a night? One. Okay, ain't nothing special about that. She'll tell you, she'll be honest. But I tell you, we all can do it once. To demonstrate the sins of the people. 
He got Daniels, who I had a dream. Can I be in top come do tell? For people who would dare to come back to the secret place. And then you say, who are, what is God doing? Let me tell you what one thing I saw him do today. He had a host of preacher's kids coming back to God. Mm. And I looked up and saw a host of preacher's kids. Children that was one that came up under ministers and ministries yeah. who have left God and left church. And I saw God bringing back a host of minister, preacher's kids. It's like I didn't have to ask who were they. I knew who they were. So I said, oh, God is going to use in the last days and many times PKs, preacher's kids. Kids who grew up watching ministry, who know what it's like to fast and pray and be married to a pastor or a first lady or an elder. They, they know what it's like to open up the word and sit and learn and lift their hands and worship. You don't have to teach them. They, they know what it's like. But life and not always seeing what they need to see at home, they have went astray. And God is going to bring them back to use them. Amen. And this is a host of them lost. They lost to them, but God knows where they are. Yes, and he's going to just bring them back. Yes, he's going to put them in front of people like us who know just what to do with them. Yes, God. Yes, God. They know when they hear something not biblical. Right. Mm. They know when they hear some junk. Right. That's why they left. You know, so that's why some of them got out of here because they, they saw church change. Mm -hmm. Then they saw some people who, all oh, the faith you do can't stop me and mama from arguing and fighting. You what you dad. You know, and they left. They got big and left. So you'll know. Yes. They grew up and, and some of them just rebelled. Mm -hmm. The devil hated them, hated their family, and beat the hell into them and took them out of God. Mm -hmm. And they got out there to protection. But God is going to bring them back. He's bringing them back. He just need a voice that would say, hey, God, God looking for you. You, come back. Yes. It's time to come back. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Your will. God, God's been looking. Come back. Hey, you, you, you look like a preacher's kid. Yeah, I know. God said, come back. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Come back. Come back. See, he's still doing what he do. Last Friday, I think I ministered to three different people just out. Two ladies and a man. Uh -huh. It's still God being God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. One lady put her hand, hand in the air and cried and cheek, tears fell off her cheeks. And she stood there. And let me pray for her. Yes, wow. Lord. Yes, Lord. Last Friday. Way, he, he's still God. He won't be anything but him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And he's calling us back to a place where we'll be willing to be serviceable and useful. Let's rest on our feet. The remnant. Yes, God. No one wants it, but guess what? We back. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. But we back. Thank you, God. He's just gonna open my eyes. You know, get me right. Get you right. Come on, let's rest on our feet. He don't want you to come in his presence and think that you just here by happy capacity. As if you're not here for that he hasn't summoned you. I want to 
If it's your will to reach out to my mom, your will. If it's your will to reach out to my dad, your will. If it's your will to call my daughter, your will. If it's your will to call my son, your will. And I'm not being a hypocrite. I had to reach for a dad who didn't want me. I had to reach for a son running from me. I had to say, I'm right here, if you have a son. I'm right here. And I had to be like Christ or like God. I had to be ready to forgive. But in the same way, God is here. There is a sweet anointing in the same
your spirit and seal it. The spirit of prophetic voice that's speaking right now. And you won't even know you heard it, but you did. He moves. Why don't you lift up your hands right when now? When I was Somebody's wondering, need courage tonight. like, where are you? That heavy burden is I would go to bed right and just know what to do. That thing you're facing is leaving right now. You just drop it in my right spirit. And then when I will finally be quiet and sleep, we are only to be up and seal his instructions in my ear. And, and I just knew what to do. The sweetest name I know. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And loyal remnants, they worship the him. Just like the word sounds, they just worship him. Yes, he is. I see the We worship God. And we don't charge them foolishly. He'll sell. Does anybody love our disciples? And we have too many friends and family not saved to not cry out and worship Jesus. him and say names. She worshiped him saying, my daughter. He worshiped him saying, my son. Jesus. Look at scripture. Jesus. Jesus. You can literally worship him and say, my nephew, my niece. You can, you can worship him. My godson, my goddaughter, my grandchildren. And worship. But it's hard to do when you need a lot of help, right? Give I unto thee. 
And in the name of the Lord, rise up now and walk. It's been a long time since we truly had that. That we see your people leaping and running and praising God because of the anointing alone. It's been years since you asked, Son of Man, can these dead bones live? Years. Since you asked, why think of the thing incredible that I can raise one from the dead? Why? But we come back to say thank you and yes. yes. It's not enough now to just come back and say thank you. Now we must come back and say thank you and yes. To a, to a life we don't even know. To a path we can't see. But yes. From our soul. We say yes to what we don't even know. But we trust you Lord. For Christ declared that he who sent me is with me. And he will never leave me. Father in Jesus' name. The anointing of the remnant. To be willing to speak a hard, unpopular word in times like this and stand for Christ. an anointing that will save all of my family. An anointing that will reach the laws at any cost. An anointing that will deal with the this kind. For I, only I am left. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we believe for it in Jesus' name. And let every heart say amen, amen, amen. Come on, prayers. Let's go. Let's, let, let's, let's, let's see what God is doing. Hey, baby. If you're at home, I wish you were here. For no other reason than to experience church. like we do. There is no hey. They don't know you like we do. That's why they say what they say.
for ministries like these. But we held on because you can't go to hell about coming past us.
God, we believe for it. Then act like it and dance for me. Praise God for me in the center out. Come on, if you're the one of you all with an unsaved daughter and an unsaved son, an unsaved dad and an unsaved uncle, an unsaved brother and an unsaved sister, then act like it. I'm the remnant. And there's no great old. And I dance and proxy for you. I have stood in proxy for people in the hospital and had to receive their deliverance. Like, lift your hands. I'm, I want you to receive this for a person going in the hospital. And I had to stand there in proxy. Lift your hands while I pray for a drug addict that can't be here. And I had to lift my hands in proxy. This is no lie. They get a phone call. Said that God healed that person last night. So give yourself some room. Come on up closer, first lady. Now come on closer, Anthony. And come on, Aaron. Give yourself some room. Come on, give yourself some room. Come on, Aaron. Give yourself some room. Come on, give yourself some room. Joe, dance for both sides of your family. Dance for your side and your wife's side. Some of us got to cover both sides. Inspiration, heart's motivation, still comes from you. No I'm not begging God. No I'm not begging him. Because no he said it. So I'm not begging him. I'm dancing for what he's going to do. It's already done, but I want to see it manifested. We've been 
But God going to show you what he can do. So I said, Lord, please don't want to ask my like that. He took away ass. So I said, Lord, please don't want the shame of that. Like, <laughs> and he took away the shame of that. So let him give me all my children. He gave me all my children. So I don't know what you say. And let her be hot here. Yeah. Come on. 